One of the great heroes of Scotland, William Wallace was one of the main leaders of the First War of Scottish Independence. Along with Andrew Moray, Wallace defeated an English army at the Battle of Stirling Bridge in September 1297. He was appointed Guardian of Scotland and served until his defeat at the Battle of Falkirk in July 1298, but was defeated at Falkirk in 1298. He resigned his post in favour of Robert the Bruce. Wallace managed to avoid being captured until 1305 when he was turned over to Edward I of England and put on trial for treason. On this charge, he replied, I could not be a traitor to Edward, for I was never his subject. In August 1305, Wallace was captured in Ribroyston, near Glasgow, and handed over to King Edward I of England, who had him hanged, drawn and quartered for high treason and crimes against English civilians. On August 23, 1305, he was stripped naked and dragged by a horse through London. He was then hung, drawn and quartered, strangled by hanging, but kept alive, emasculated, disemboweled and had his bowels burned before him, beheaded and then cut into four parts. Since his death, Wallace has obtained an iconic status far beyond his homeland. He is the protagonist of Blind Harry's 15th century epic poem The Wallace and the subject of literary works by Janet Potter and Sir Walter Scott, and of the Academy Award winning film Braveheart in 1995. In 1869 the Wallace Monument was erected, very close to the site of his victory at Stirling Bridge. The Wallace Sword, which supposedly belonged to Wallace, although some parts were made at least 160 years later, was held for many years in Dumbarton Castle and is now in the Wallace Monument. Thank you for watching till the end. Please consider encouraging us by subscribing to our channel. In order to show your support, don't forget to like and share the video.